Hello friends, happy Wednesday. Hope you're all having a fantastic week. Welcome to the middle of the week. Looking forward to the second half and whatnot. Oh, it's been a busy day today. Uh, it's just amazing how these days go by so quickly. And I was saying this morning that if you follow me on Instagram, you saw this. Um, if it wasn't for this allowing me to take some time out and you know spend a little bit of time being mindful of what I'm doing, I, I would blink and the day would be over. By the way, it's uh, Tim Hynek, not Tim Hynek, sorry, Tim Thorpe. Uh, this is a, uh, I believe he called it a canted apple. Very nice pipe. And I'm smoking some haunted bookshop, but I'm actually pretty low. I might have to, I might have to refill. But that's okay. Ah, uh, yes, time is flying. Uh, I can't believe it's it's already uh, we're well past the halfway point, in April, and it seems like just yesterday we were complaining about the uh, you know excessive cold and snow at the end of. February and, and early March, uh, just crazy. So any day now we'll start complaining about the heat? Probably. It's nice that we get these bracketing seasons of spring and fall where we don't have a lot of weather to complain about. Unless you're just the complaining type, you know. Uh, so work kept me jumping today. Very happy to be able to look away from the computer. Well, look away from computer A and turn my attention to computer B in order to talk to you for a few minutes. But uh, that's okay. This is enjoyable. Didn't touch a... a work pipe, the pipe that I'm working on uh, today. Touched this pipe plenty though. <laughs> but making nice progress on some stuff. Uh, actually, you can see it right over there. Can I point to it? Yeah, got a couple of pipes that I'm working on right there. Boy, that's hard to do reversed in the camera. Uh, and that includes that um, horse head pipe for, for Jack Kurtz. I'm finishing that up. I'll probably finish it up tomorrow. It uh, just needs to be buffed and it, it's done. Uh, it turned out really nice. Thanks again to Doug Owen for uh, for sending that beautiful pipe, and I think Jack's really going to enjoy it. I'm hoping to get out to see him this weekend, so I can give him that pipe, and uh, I'll let you know how it goes. But uh, yeah, lots of that going on. About to start on two stems. I had to wait for some ebonite, which uh, thank you UPS U U U P S P U P S P U S P S. Thank you, Postal Service. <laughs> Finally got the uh, the ebonite in, and uh, yeah, get started on those. I, I got to start making a bit more rapid progress on this waiting list because I got a lot of very patient people whose patience is likely growing thin. So, I might be to the bottom of this bowl. Yeah, it's amazing just how quickly time is, is just flashing by. And I know it's a universal condition. It does get worse as you get older. And I've always found that fascinating. I think just psychologically, when you're young, everything is new and exciting. And you got all the stuff to pay attention to. If you notice, Time goes by most rapidly when you're focused on something, when, you, when you're really focused in on, on one thing. And when you're young, your, your attention is just spread out across so many things that time goes slowly. As you get older, you bring in that focus and you race to the end. And uh, that's kind of sad. As they say, youth is wasted on the young. Oh, well. 
but you get a lot of wisdom along the way. So I guess that's uh, that's something. You, you know not to do the stupid things <laughs> that you did when you were a kid, which is good because you don't heal as well. Uh, so I've decided to end that bowl. And what bowl we have? Excuse me while I select another tobacco. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna smoke some of this. This is, uh, this is some Peter Stokeby Norwegian blend. I have no idea how I got this. It's, uh, it was a two ounce bag that I don't think I ever opened and it was dry. Dry as could be. So I rehydrated it and, uh, it's not bad. You know, it, it is a fine shag cut. So, I was talking to my friend Nick about this. I asked him if he ever had it, and he said, yeah, he thinks it's a, it's a roll-your-own tobacco rather than a pipe tobacco. He might be right about that. Um, it does burn a little hot in the pipe, but it's tasty. It's uh, Virginia, Burley, and some Orientals. And, uh, yeah, I, I kind of like it. Uh, I'm thinking maybe blending it with some... Uh, cube cut barley or something like that just to slow down the burn a bit. But the, the flavor is quite nice as long as you keep it from getting too hot. Now, I have no idea how old this is. Let me check and see if there's a date on this label. Nope. It was purchased long enough ago that I don't remember buying it, if I even bought it. And it was dry. I mean, it was really very, very dry. So <clears throat> if you go out and buy this fresh, it may not be anything like what I'm smoking, but this is nice. It's got a very, you know, very nice sweetness to it. The barley gives it some depth. It's not all, you know, Virginia lofty high notes. There's, there's that nice base burly note in there. And uh, the Orientals are good, so. It reminds me a bit of Orion's Arrow. Doesn't smoke as well as Orion's Arrow. But again, that's probably that shag cut. <clears throat> Just burning a little too hot. I can't recommend you rush out and buy it, but if you're buying tobacco and you're looking for something new to try, throw an ounce in your in your order, you might you might enjoy it. Ah. Uh, now part of me right now is thinking time is flying and I've got all these things to do. Why am I wasting time sitting here talking to myself, smoking a pipe? But there's another part of me saying, this is exactly what you need to be doing right now. This is what's preventing the day from flying by. This is something you looked forward to. This is something you're enjoying. And you're focusing on yourself, your own thoughts, and the enjoyment of your pipe. I'm going to listen to that second part. Yeah. There'll be time tomorrow to do the things I'm not doing right now. And if there's not, they probably weren't that important. Anyway, um, we got a fun-filled Friday evening coming up. Uh, hopefully you will be able to join us this Friday at 8 p.m. Uh, it's going to be the uh, solo live stream virtual pipe club. So just me and you guys. Uh, we always have a good time with that. And I'm looking forward to hoping, hopefully seeing you there on Friday evening. Uh, might go over tomorrow and get, a, get myself a six-pack. I haven't had any beer in a while. See what new craft beers might be available. Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. 
Anyway, folks, um, don't have a lot to say today other than time is flying by very quickly. I'm going to enjoy this and uh, get back. I got a little bit of work to do before I call it a day. But I wish you all the best for the rest of your Wednesday. Have a great week ahead and hope to see you on a Friday. So until then, bye.